All right, guys, I wanted to go over how to create custom clothing for MetaHumans in Maya. I had sent out a video uh, some YouTuber created in Blender, and it's okay. I think it'll get you there, but a lot of students are working in Maya. I prefer to work in Maya. So um, let's see if we can do this. So the first thing you're going to need to do is you're going to have to go to Quixel Bridge. Quixel is now incorporated into Unreal, but it didn't used to be. Um, and they still do have a standalone. They have a couple different standalone products. So their Megascan product is a standalone. They have a product called Bridge and they have a project called Mixer. So you're going to want to download Bridge and have it on your desktop. So what does that do for you? So I have Bridge downloaded on my desktop and you log into it just like you do in Unreal. And they have, um, so I clicked on My MetaHumans for UE5, the MetaHumans I've created. And what it allows you to do is you can actually download or export these characters in ways that you can't. In Unreal, it just will bring it in Unreal. Here you actually have a lot of options in Bridge. So I've already downloaded this guy. Uh, I have it at 1K resolution. If you click on settings, uh, you actually have download settings and export settings. So let's go to our download settings. Um, so you can see, you can choose kind of what maps you want for this character. You can choose what models you want for this character. Uh, we don't need all these different level of details. We just need the, the highest one, the LOD zero. We want to download it as an FBX file and we want this UE asset and source asset. So just change your, change this. I forget what it defaults to, um, one of the other ones. Okay, so then if we go back in our export settings, you can actually export it directly to Maya. So you have a bunch of different options in here. You can export to Houdini, C4D, Marmoset, etc. We want Maya. The important thing to note here is if you're exporting this to Maya, Maya actually has to be open. Um, so I do have Maya open. I actually have Maya 2022 open. Um, I had heard something online that 24, we'll just try it in 2024 if that's what you're running. Uh, I would think it would work with any version of Maya. I happen to have 2022 open. Um, so anyway, Let's actually just go ahead and export this. Uh, I already did this. Hang on, hold on a second. So download it, export. Okay. Exporting to Maya. Let's see what's happening. Do you want to import this character? Yes, I do. Okay, everybody, finally, finally, we're in, uh, we have our model in Maya from Quixel. We've got our character, yay. All right, all right, so a couple things to note. Sorry, sorry, from Quixel Bridge. We're Z up in here, okay? Normally Y is Maya, or Maya, Maya is Y up. So we're going to, I'm gonna work Y up that's just use how I'm used to working. Um, so now our character's face down, right? So these are the problems working between Unreal and Maya with uh, Maya being Y up. So all we have to do is uh, we just need to select this guy. Um, and so go to rotate Z and we'll do negative 90. And so now he is up again. Uh, he looks weird because his lights are still, now they're rotating in the wrong place. Okay, so you can see his facial controls are still down here, but that's okay. We don't need those. So next thing I want to do is I actually, he's in two separate parts, the head and the body. I'm going to go hide those things. So I'm going to hit Control H to hide those. Control H to hide the body. Control H to hide the head. Okay. And... Uh, if we want, we can hide his flip-flops too. We'll hit Control H to hide his flip-flops. So then if you come over here under Rig, go to Rig, Body Group, Geometry Group, 
body LOD zero group, we have the normal weight body LOD mesh. That's what we just hid. But just under that is the combined LOD zero mesh. So we're going to hit Shift H to unhide that. So Unreal actually has a single combined body mesh in here, and we are going to take that. Uh, we're going to take this mesh and use that to copy our skin weights from. Okay. All right. So this is all looking good. We need to go get our jacket. So I actually grabbed a jacket from Sketchfab. So this jacket right here, uh, I can tell you from running through this tutorial a couple of times, this jacket, the mesh has a couple issues. It's not combined. So it's always a good idea to kind of import these into a separate Maya file and make sure everything's scaled correctly. We're just going to hop right into it. I'm not going to do that at this point in time. Uh, you can't ex download an FBX to this file. You have to, you can download a, a GLTF. So you have to bring it in a blender, uh, export an FBX, bring it into Maya. So that's what we're going to be doing. So I've already exported an FBX from Blender. So I'm going to go File, Import, uh, Jacket. So this jacket comes in absolutely massive. So let me delete this stuff. Let me go find this. Um, I mean, we could just hit F. So of course it's way too big and it disappears. So we need to select our camera. We need to go to our attribute editor. We need to add a bunch of zeros in our far clipping plane. Okay. Um, that's weird. Okay. So here's our jacket. Um, I'm actually just going to go ahead and um, modeling. We'll go to mesh combine. And uh, I'm also going to, because I know this mesh is in a bunch of separate pieces, so we'll just use this poly merge feature. Um, and I'm going to edit delete by type history. Okay. So this is the jacket, and this little dot down here is our man, is our Unreal character. That's how big it is. It's like skyscraper sized. Okay. So I'm just going to scale this down manually and zoom in so I don't lose anybody. Okay. You can see our little guy down there. And we're going to scale this down some more. And this is why I recommend doing this in a separate file and just making sure that everything is more or less scaled to, you know, where it should be. Um, it just makes your life a lot easier. So let's bring this forward. It's still way too big. Um, oh my goodness. Okay. So we'll go to our front view. He's actually not on the ground, but it's okay. Um, okay. Still looks like it might be, yeah, it's definitely too big for him if we look down at, underneath him. So we'll bring it in a little bit more. You know, this is uh, this is kind of the artistic part. I mean, you can see his his arms aren't lined up. We're gonna take care of that. Uh, his neck, like his collar, isn't lined up. That's okay. I'm more interested in the fact that this bottom part, he's kind of in the middle of it, which it looks like he is. Oh, so. Note here, my camera's being a little bit weird, so whenever you switch from Y up to Z up, um, your camera gets wonky. So if you go back to your default view, that should take care of that problem. Yeah, so now my rotation is working fine. So, you know, it... all right. So this actually looks pretty good on him. I'm going to say this is good for the purposes of this demo. Um, you know, 
obviously you would want to go in here and grab these verts in here and pull them out so you can use your arrow keys to kind of walk along these verts um, I'm not going to do that right now but uh, to get that so it wraps around his neck but that's fine so let's um, let's grab his joint so I'm going to show joints for whatever reason when you bring in metahumans the joints are off by default so I'm going to turn on shading x-ray joints and we'll just put this back to object mode and we will select his joint so if you so if you hold down the e key you can go to object mode and so you'll be rotating this in the direction of the joint not in world space but in object space uh, i'm going to use my arrow key to walk down to his forearm his elbow and we're just going to place this in the center looks like it's sticking out a little bit back there i'm not really sure um so we'll do the same for this just trying to get this done quick so one note on this i mean i'm always a lot of times students will just grab this to kind of bend things the way they shouldn't be like obviously if you needed to rotate that joint you know you would rotate it from up here the elbow is a hinge joint so it only rotates one way in this case on the z-axis right um but that's fine we're just doing this to copy the weights okay so he's looking pretty good um we have the jacket on him the way it should be so i'm going to select his body joint select set members and i'm going to select his jacket and then up here under rigging i'm going to go skeleton um or sorry skin bind skin okay and then i am going to actually grab his skin and i'm going to grab his jacket and i'm going to say skin and i'm going to say copy skin weights okay and then at this point um oh it's taking a minute here at this point if i grab his his upper arm joint his jacket should be working i'll turn this off for you guys and if i walk down his joint chain by hitting the down arrow um we've got a we've got a weighted jacket okay so uh this is looking pretty good let me see something i'll just put it back to where it was um all right so now we just grab the jacket and we go file export selection and i'm going to edit my presets so you guys can see my settings so the only thing i have if you don't have smoothing groups on unreal will complain about it okay so turn smoothing groups on and i've got these deform models and stuff checked okay so i'm just going to hit export selection and we'll call it um jacket jacket ue I think I've already done this a couple times. UE2. Okay, export selection. All right, we get a warning, but it doesn't matter. Okay, so in here, in Unreal, let's get our guy. No. Oh, shoot. Gotta wait for a sec. All right, so, whoops, we've got him in here. Okay. So we'll just position him quickly, just in this little box or close to it. Um, okay. Oh, what the heck. All right. All right, so we've got our guy in here. I'm going to double click on him and go to viewport. All right, so to get some clothes on him, if we went to body, like if we had a full body outfit, we could replace it here. So if we had, you know, 
full armor with leggings and everything, we could replace that. But we want to replace the torso because we still want him to have his arms. Um, so if we go in here, uh, oh shoot, I never, I never imported my asset, did I? Okay, so let's import our asset from the desktop, which is jacket, jacket, jacket UE2. Okay, import all. So, you know, generally you should organize a little bit, but we didn't do that in this case. So if we go back to Yuri, torso, and then we go to uh, jacket, boink, he's got his jacket on. And so if we go back here, he's got his jacket on. And so if we were to go to content and let's just say I go to animation, oh, sorry, cinematics level sequence. And I double click on that. And let's select this character and go track actor to sequencer. And click on this metahuman control rig. I guess we don't need to, but I'll just turn on his IK controllers for his hands. And let's bring this down here. And so if I grab this controller, uh, oh, that's weird. Why do we have two? Oh, did I accidentally duplicate him? Oh, that's weird. All right, I'm just going to delete this version. Okay. I think uh, I must have alt dragged or something. All right, so anyway, you get the idea. We've got um, we've got Yuri in here with a jacket on. We can move stuff, and so yeah, that's it, guys. Hopefully, this helps you with your characters. All right, peace.